on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. G'day guys. What's cracking? It's your boy Two Aussie here again. So today we're in beautiful Wallarawang again. Just a little bit past Lithgow, heading west in the wild, wild west. And I've had a few people ask me to do a few things out here. Apparently their friendly grocer has takeaway food and whatnot. And also the word on the street is Mama Joe's, which we would have seen here in Oz on Kitchen Nightmares Australia. And I actually did a little review there before all that happened has actually gone. And apparently now is a pizza slash diner joint. So folks, we're winging it today. We're gonna do a little investigation, see what's doing in Wallarawang. I love this place. It might sound like I'm taking a piss, but I love it here. It's a beautiful little town with a nice little lake and all these little attractions. So guys, so if you get a chance in your area, stop in and have a little manjari and a little break in Wallarawang. I love this place. Anyway, folks, we're almost in the town. We'll check out, see what's going on, and we'll get back here shortly. See you soon. And we're back babies and we definitely got the goods now you know in these troubled times how we like to get a bargain because it ain't that easy to find i can't believe this we got a phantasmagorical deal we got the old granny pack which is what i tend to go with when i see that name i just love that name we got the old granny pack with chips some of these fried potatoes two of them and a nice piece of fish now how will fish taste out in the out in the wild wild west? There's only one way to find out now, folks. We've got to have a chip, you know that. So, I'm telling the price, son. I'm doing all that rabbit and on, flapping me gums, and I didn't tell you what's going on. Ten bucks for that. That wasn't enough of a bargain. Ten bucks for all that. We got this sour warheads green apple soda. Now I don't say soda, but that's what it's saying there. So you gotta go with the program. Three bucks. Two ninety-nine. Can't believe it. Now, also, but wait, there's more. We grabbed the old Chico roll again for three bucks. None of them are three bucks anymore. They're usually three dollars fifty and upwards. The cheapest I've seen lately is three thirty. So, folks, all up, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole box and dice, sixteen bucks. And I can't tell you how much of a happy little chappy I am today. We've done very well. I reckon it's time to stop rabbiting on and get stuck into this amazing cheap food. Let's do it. We'll just have a quick squeeze of the old Chico roll. Yeah, I love to see it. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure I said spring roll, but I can't lie folks, I do prefer the old spring rolls, but we ended up with a Chico, but for three bucks, I ain't complaining. Time to stick it in. So 
So my first bite, I don't know how this could happen. The last time I had one of these, and you guys would have seen it if you were watching that video, I think it was at the servo. That actually is a fraction better, not much, but a fraction better. Still would prefer a spring roll, but maybe I'd said Chico roll, and I meant spring roll. If I did, my bad. I won't waste it. It's pretty decent for a scummy Chico roll. I don't have any high opinions of these things. Let's go for another one. Let's see how many chips we got for 10 bucks underneath it. all this. What size of that piece of fish? And of course, it's bloody burning me fingers, but this is what I do for you guys. Pretty decent amount of chips. We got a bit of chicken salt on it. Pieces of fried potato look pretty decent. Nice and round too. Give this a hit, see how it goes. I like it. Winner, winner. Piece of potato. <laughs> Piece of fried potato. Battered fried potato. I'm not saying that word. I'm definitely not going to say it. You guys can say it in the comments if you want. Even though it's quite thin, it's not overcooked, taste totally eats well with that chicken salt on it. Nice chicken salt too. We're on a total winner today. But it ain't over yet. Time for the big test. There's a nice piece of fish without the batter on it. Looking very juicy, very succulent. Let's hope it is. Oh yeah, baby. I'm, I'm really, no word of a lie. That is totally on point. Beautiful fish. You wouldn't expect it. <laughs> About 150 kilometers away from the sea. <laughs> At least, maybe more. Let's try this bit, see how that goes. I'll tell you folks. It just doesn't get any better than this. Let's have some chips with some fish. There's still a little bit in that. Even though the chips, I'm not trying to hype this place up. It makes no difference to me whether I bag one thing and not the other. A little bit greasy, of course, but you get that with battered fish. But the chips also look greasy because the fish has been on top of it. But they're not crispy which is the way I like these things, but they are cooked on the inside because a lot of times you find if you haven't got a bit of a crispness on the outside, they are not cooked very well on the inside. These, pretty good. Maybe because they're thin, I don't know. I'm totally impressed with this. And that chicken salt is to die for. OMB, it just doesn't get any better than this. But I did make a critical mistake now that I think about it. Now you can see that. Didn't grab any serviettes, but never fear. I have some in the glove box <laughs> if I'm desperate. Let's whack a little bit of the old lemon on there. That's a bit hard, a bit hard to handle, but it's coming out. We're getting some juice. Juicing it up. It's super juice now. Oh, look at that. You can see the rivers of, you can see the rivers and valleys of fish and lemon let's give that a crack that should be totally on point well yeah baby now like i said i'm not trying to hype this joint up i was surprised it was even there i didn't think it was going to be a thing but i did get a someone said try out the iga at Wallarawang. i thought it was a friendly grocer from last time i was out here it turns out to be a food work so there you go guys you won't miss that place if you come into town it's only a small little town the only convenience store like that. So folks, give that a try if you're out this way. And if you're not, pop in for a visit. You'll love the joint. Oh, 
Just give me a sec, I've got to do a little bit of cleaning up. It's getting very greasy here. I'll be back. And we're back, babies. So I reckon without further ado, a boo-boo. And I tell you, I can't wait to get a red-hot swig of this one because I've never tried it before. It's time to crack open our Warhead Sour Green Apple Soda. Proudly brought to you by Foodworks in Willarawang. I'm expecting big things from this. I love apple type flavored things. We've had one of those. We've had a couple of those in the past. Let's crack it open. Let's see what all the hype's about, because I'm hyped. Oh, it's a purdy green. Looks like green cordial or something. Nostravio. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a delay. I can't sort of make my mind up about this. It's a weird taste, and of course it is the sour, the warhead sour. So you'd expect that. Anyway, it's nice and tingly, very fizzy, and it ain't it ain't too bad. I like. I can start starting to get that green apple. It's coming through now. So on second swig, I'm getting it now. So folks. We've got to rate this thing. I'm going to give it for value. Even with the Chico roll, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole box and dice. You don't get these things for a dollar very often now, but we have managed a couple of times in a row. Decent sized piece of fish. Chips were excellent. I can't complain about them. So folks, for value, I'm going to give it a four and three quarters. No, bugger it. I'm going to give it an it's lit. I'm loving it. I'm giving it five stars out of five for value and for taste. I'm going to give, well, we won't take, we won't rate the chico roll. They are what they are. They never taste much different. So the fish and chips, the old granny pack, I'm going to give it four and quit, four and quick quarters. <laughs> That's not how it goes. Four and three quarter stars out of five for taste and that chicken salt. It just doesn't get any better than that. So folks, i got to bounce. It's time to vamoose. So I'll say sayonara. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru, stay fresh. And if ever you're in the area, pop into old Willow Willow Will Will Wang. Bit hard to say, but totally eats well place. You'll make love it here. It's lit.